What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case anybody is new here and in this video we're going to be doing a quick trade recap, nothing crazy here, on a trade in which we made about $3,100 profit in, uh, what well, I should have looked at it first. I think 20 minutes, less than 30 minutes we're going to say. Uh, now it was a bit of a broken up trade because I had a few fills, a few buy-ins, a few sells, this and that. Uh, but it, nothing too crazy, nothing to get like overwhelmed with or anything like that. Like I said, it's going to look like a lot. Um, but anyways, I figured might as well still make a video on it. Um, I've been a little bit behind on my uploads. Like I've had a few up videos to upload. I've forgotten to upload them. Um, so I'm kind of behind, but I'm trying to make videos while I have the time. And I've had some extra free time lately, more than usual. So i uh, just been trying to make some videos now before I start getting busy again because I know I kind of fall off sometimes. But anyways, besides that, that's just my rambling. Let's just get that out the way. So anyways, I'm back. Um, hey. So anyways, we had a total of 30 contracts here. And the total price we're going to say was 320 because we got 15 contracts at 315 each. Then a few minutes later, I added in an additional 15 contracts, getting us at 30 contracts at 325. So we're just going to say the average price is 320. And for calculation purposes, for anyone that's new, uh, when you see like $3 and 20 cents, it's with options, one is equivalent to a hundred. So it's actually $320, not $3 and 20 cents. So if I had 30 contracts at 320 each, that's 9,600 would be the total cost of the trade. Now, the times that I got in, it's all pretty much right at the same time. So we'll go over that on the chart, but let's just wrap up all of the fills and everything here and all the profit calculations and just move on from there. Get it out of the way real quick. So I sold 10 of the contracts for 375 each. We're going to say uh, majority of it was like a 375, I'd say um, shortly after. So like maybe 10 minutes after I got it, I got into it full size. I sold 10 of them for $375 each, which is at about a profit of around $500 that I locked in. Total, I had about a, a profit of $1,500 at that point. Uh, I decided to sell, sell one-third of the trade, 10 contracts. I just kind of locked in there, give myself a little bit of a cushion. Um, and then the rest, I sold 15 of them. So we're going to calculate 10 times 375 we're just going to say so that's 3750 now remember the cost was 9600 total so we're going to calculate the total amount that we sold it for and then we'll just move on get this out the way real quick so the rest of it i sold 15 of them at 440 let's just say so 15 times 440 is 6600 then the last five contracts that i had i sold for 475 so 475 times 5 is 2,375. So add all that up together. That gives you a total amount of 12,725 that we sold it for. The cost of the trade was 9,600. And you just basically subtract the cost from that. And that's how you get the 3,000 some profit. Um, I don't want to get too deep into it. Uh, you guys can do those calculations if you want. Um, but basically we got into it at 320. Sold a third of the trade at 375 sold 15 contracts at 440 and then the rest of the five contracts we sold at 475 and let's just kind of go over the times for uh, i'm sorry 647 650 651 is where we started selling and at 705 we were pretty much getting out of it all so this is what happened here is i got in it right here right kind of like at the peak i mean it's not like i got the whole top high of the day but i mean i guess i got the top of the pop i guess you can say um, that's where I added, where I started in right here, right at the 647 area. And then once we broke kind of the lows of the day there, I added in at the 650. That's where I added in the additional 15 contracts there. Then literally a minute later, I'm sorry, I think I said 10 minutes earlier, uh, a minute later, I sold 10 of the contracts because it gave just a quick, quick, quick drop, and I was able to kind of catch it like right here at the bottom of the drop there, right as it kind of like pinged that uh, the 291.50 on the stock price. Uh, so I said, you know what? Might as well. I mean, we're already at a $1,500 profit within the matter of a, like a minute or so. Let me just lock in some of it. So I sold 10 of the contracts, 10 of the 30 that I had right there, and then I held the rest 
uh, because ultimately I was kind of shooting for 290 on this. I figured it could get 290. So I sold the rest of the 15. So I had 30, I sold 10. So that means I had 20 left. I sold 15 of those right as it kind of hit the 290 area. And then once it kind of flushed through literally like a minute later, that's when I sold the last five that I had. And that's basically it. The total was a $3,100 profit. Um, I didn't want to get too crazy on this trade. I've kind of had a lot of catch up to do. So I figure, you know, might as well just do a quick trade recap on this one, kind of show you guys how the morning momentums can still go. You know, we did this within the matter of what, 647 to being out by, let's just say 707. So what, 20 minute trade, we made $3,000 profit. Um, and that's pretty much that guys. I don't want to get too crazy deep into it, but you know, if you guys want to learn how to do this stuff, if you want to connect with me on social media, you know, Instagram, Twitter, you know, all that, I'll put all my links in the description below, or you can find me who's Bijan T on Instagram and all that. Um, but that's pretty much that guys. Just wanted to do a quick video, check in with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll wrap it up here and I will talk to you guys soon.